Oh yeah, I thought I'd do a video uh, about things I ordered from Wish. I'm always skint, so I've barely got enough money for Airsoft as it is, so the cheaper the better for me. And you know, you've got this website Wish and Geek, uh, you can order bits and pieces off their Airsoft and stuff, uh, and a lot of people are a bit wary. So I've ordered quite a bit off there and it's been a bit hit and miss some of it, so I thought I'd just show you some of the things uh, I've got off Wish uh, and tell you what I think about it. So first item, I'm just dragging them off the bed here as I uh, as I go. Uh, there's a pistol lanyard, um, pretty good, two quid. Uh, didn't really like the clip too much, but I guess the way that is at the end there, you could adapt it. Um, nice Velcro belt loop. Will fit most width belts as well. Fairly good, two quid. Uh, not bad. Quite happy with that. Um, some other daft stuff I've got. I bought this as a bit of a giggle. A little uh, balaclava. Made of thin material. Worked well in the winter. Kept my ears warm, kept my face warm. Steamed my goggles up uh, as they do. But uh, for a quid, not bad. Quite pleased with that. Uh, some of the belts uh, you can look around for these type of belts online uh, This is my son's belt uh, Got this eight quid Really solid really heavy feeling Good strong metal good strong clip as well, so it just pushes in Really good no bother with that at all eight quid it's worth a punt when you see him on places like warrior UK for I don't know, 30, 40 quid. For that, eight quid, quite happy with it. We're airsofting at the end of the day, which is not exactly, you know, I'm not going off to Afghanistan or anything like that. Uh, I'm not using it every day. I'm not using it every day in combat. I'm using it every now and again on a Sunday, running around the woods with toy guns. You know what I mean? So pretty good, pleased with that. Um, four grips. Uh, seen these, seen these about on the fields there somewhere. Many people like to have a bit of a laugh and a joke that uh, they wouldn't put one on their own four, but you know some people like it. Uh, it's the bipod uh, version. It's got a rail on the side for lasers, torches, etc. And it's got a really good uh, grippy, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's decent. Button on the back there, spring loaded. Uh, that's your bipod on the front of your rifle. So I've had a couple of these, probably about seven quid from Wish. Feels solid. Um, it's obviously not like the real thing. You can see the seams and the plastic, etc. But again, I'm just running around the woods, uh, playing at being a, a toy soldier again every weekend. And it works quite well. Really pleased with those. Bought three of those. Uh, other little bits. Uh, pistol torch. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, spring loaded if you can see that as well spring loaded it's got a notch in there just there to grip underneath your pistol so here's my sig slide it onto the pistol and it locks in place really well uh, switch here for the torch you've got three torch functions so it'll flash and then it's bright and then it's a bit dimmer. I bought it because I wanted it to go on my pistol. I thought it looked better on my pistol. Um, but I could never find a holster to fit it. And to be fair, most of my airsofting is done in the woodland. So uh, it's not that not that good. I did have to adjust it. I did have to get the Dremel out because uh, it didn't fit this uh, too well. It fit the 911 perfectly. I've got a 911 rail WE fit that perfectly so I don't know if you can see that here dremeled out a little bit just so it fitted the uh, the 226 a little bit better but again not bad 13 quid paid for that well you're gonna pay probably three four times that for a torch um, you know if you join the SAS and you're gonna go and do room clearances uh, but for me running around the woods again like I say 13 quid not bad quite happy with that uh, some other bits I've got two types of slings, um, they're one point slings, 
um, all of these. These were cheap as chips. I can't remember how much I paid for them, but cheap as chips again. If you go to Patrol Base or you go to Warrior UK, if you go all over really and you buy an airsoft equipment, um, it's really expensive. So this I found, decent, uh, decent fits in there. Opens up double to grip around your, uh, uh, your securing point there. Elasticated, so it does give you a bit of bounce. Fully adjustable here, and it's really good material. Um, this has been skirmished for over six, six, eight months now, and uh, it's, it's been perfect. No fraying, nothing. Cheapest chips, probably about four quid I paid for that. Um, and again, I got three of these, one for me and my son. Perfect. Um, got another one uh, as well with the buckles because I wanted to uh, clip it up onto my uh, plate carrier. So that again, probably five, six quid uh, off there. And again, the material is absolutely fantastic. Really thick, really strong. Um, really good bungee. And then I had the, uh, the, the clip there with the, uh, with the elastic to cover the hook. So again, you can just leave that attached to your rifle. Leave that bit attached to your rifle and just clip it on when you want to use it. So it makes it easier. I've done away with my one point slings now. Can't get on with them. Keep hitting myself in the bollocks uh, with my rifle. So I don't use that very much anymore. Uh, some other stuff here. Let's have a look. So uh, the rubber knives, rubber fighting knives. Uh, all for display of course we know that uh, have a look on the internet today uh, try and buy one on the internet probably about 15 quid depending on where you get it from uh, Amazon do them see them all over eBay well this was five quid again it, uh, you know with delivery it was still less than you'd get anywhere else uh, it comes with a lovely belt loop I haven't got the actual bit that goes on the end there with me but that just goes onto your belt and again you take it off quick lovely cheap nasty but then i'm not going to kill anybody with it am i so that was good that's another uh, good thing mesh goggles i know some of you don't like them um but again they've been fine i bought three pairs of these one pair exclusively to test you know we've only got one set of eyes so that one set i got to test i um Shot to death already, uh, about 400 foot pounds. Nothing happened to them. Um, nothing splintered through them. Uh, nothing dented them. Nothing, nothing, nothing. They're just perfect. Rubberized on the inside. Again, cheap as chips. Uh, got four sets of these in the end. And uh, God, they must have been, I got these really early on. Must have been about seven, eight quid each. All right. Now, I know some of you would go, Pff, wouldn't dream of it but if you're just starting on a budget if you're new to the sport honestly these are okay these will uh, stop your BBs um, yeah they're, they're safe honestly they're safe uh, is an interesting one here I've got all sorts of bits on here um, which has all come from wish or geek I mean they're more or less the same sort of stuff anyway um, so I've got the uh, the um, what do you call it thigh holster but it's like a uh, case like a it actually says black water on it but I doubt very much it's a black water um, so as well as that I've also got this uh, it was a paddle holster originally got that from Wesh uh, that to fit the 226 again fits perfectly absolutely perfectly I can run around all day long and that's not coming out lovely finger release there and it just in and out lovely so i bought that on its own just the thigh holster didn't buy the side bits because normally you'll get a torch and a mag hold uh, holder both sides just bought this on its own uh 12 quid 12 quid go on the internet and you find it cheaper than that i, I bet you don't but it's perfect and i love it because it just it fits to your thigh uh, it's nice and solid and rigid and again you can run around all day you don't even know you've got your pistol I took one of these fighting knives um, and I just stuck it on the side of it it just seemed a really nice place to put it 
doesn't get in the way of my pistol draw or anything like that um, and it fits on quite well again really strong straps no elastic in there it's all velcro I don't like the elastic the elastic pulls uh, and then you know suddenly it's not even you know hasn't got any elastic in it left all solid all with velcro tighten it up to your thigh stick that on your belt absolutely brilliant piece of gear and these pistol um, these paddle holsters come with the paddle obviously uh, I've got one for the uh, 226 got one for the 911 I've got one for a Glock 17 all all of them honestly <clears throat> all of them under 13 quid and they're brilliant they're absolutely perfect um, wouldn't want to take it to war because it might uh, might uh, crash and burn but I'm not taking it to war really I'm a grown man playing with toy guns and it's perfect honestly and it looks the part as well uh, another couple of bits that I've got on my um, this is my uh, Specknet Arms uh, it was a B02 from the original core range um, I've changed it a little bit as well and one way I've changed it is here with this rail so this uh, the rail on the uh, Specknet was a little bit flimsy it came in one of those two parts so with your grip on the front of it it just made it all wobbly it was horrible so this full metal solid rail with the nut here as well everything come complete 28 quid 28 quid this is a 15 in, uh, inch one you can get 12s uh, 9s and 7s I think so it does you can get the size that suits you as well you can see here another sling this has come from Wish this is my three point sling which I absolutely adore I can strap that across my body over my back uh, to my side um, once you get used to a three point sling you never go back they're absolutely fantastic and they don't they didn't cause the rifle to smack in your bollocks every time you walk uh, from game to game so that come from uh, Wish as well and again about six or seven quid uh, great quality nice buckling really easy adjustment so absolutely perfect for me uh, also on the top here little red dot scope you see these all over AGS do one um, you see a lot of unbranded ones they're on eBay they're all over but again this one was probably about 18 quid might have been a bit less than that I didn't really I don't really keep keep track but uh, as a red red dot scope green dot scope let's see if I line that up there you go dots work perfectly I've got settings for red and green whatever your preference I prefer green see that there turn that off um, come with the flip up covers sprung flip up covers absolutely brilliant this how much are these how much have you seen those for just to protect my front rims there um, well that was five pound and I guarantee you won't find that on that cheap anywhere else so that's the, uh, the cover there for it as well so loving that another couple of things that's one of the eye mesh I got as well uh, I don't particularly trust this one you know people talk about that splinter in a BB it's never happened to me when I've worn it but through the winter when the um, when the um, uh, fogging was really bad this absolutely perfect I was able to see through that better than I could see through what did I do with the other one there you go so we've got two different kind of patterns of mesh there this one's a little bit sharper and these are the ones people worry about the BBs splitting uh, fragments down into your eyes whereas this is, is just a flat surface this you can feel the the wire but honestly you can see a lot for a lot better through that as well again cheap as chips got that from Wish uh, this comes from Geek nice little face pro quite like it it's stiff it's malleable you can fit it around your face uh, quite handy only thing I don't like on here the straps at the back some very very poor quality um, can't see that lasting too long but again it's not one of those I use myself because I can't get my face down to the rifle but honestly for uh, six seven quid it's good if you're starting out in airsoft you see these posts all the time brilliant cheap as chips this I absolutely love uh, one tigress do them uh, 15 16 18 quid I don't know depends where you buy it got this off wish lovely fabric sides 
uh, good quality strap in uh, it's got the uh, bit for the back of your head there as well and it's all padded foam padded inside fits your face lovely and these are great because you can get your cheek down on the comb of the rifle uh, and actually shoot good protection all around absolutely fab um, and as you can see if i had been wearing one on sunday i wouldn't have had that spot on my nose that hurts by the way um this i absolutely love right you backs you backs how much are they 40 quid 50 quid 50 quid which is fine i think if you're going off to uh iraq uh to sort them all out then you know why not get to spend that sort of money on it so i got this from wish seven pounds 95p i got it in a size up from what i actually am uh, because you know what these chinese people are like some of them are quite small so they're extra large isn't our extra large um so i got that seven pound 95 for no other reason really but to think uh, i wanted one and i'm not paying 40 50 quid for a shirt so i got that uh, just to see what it's like and to be fair i'm really pleased with it again if it lasts me a year or say that if it only lasts me six months you know i've only paid eight quid for that and that comes from wish absolutely bargain bargain i can run around won't care if i get it dirty won't care if i tear it this is ripstop as well by the way you can see the little squares there not bad is it really for eight quid uh and then the final thing i've got here um some of you will know me from uh, NSC and you know me because you're normally shooting me in the face. So there's some more face protection here in the shape of this bad boy. I've seen these on sites for 19, 20 quid. Uh, I got mine for 11 quid. Uh, out of the box, it comes with the elastic strap at the back so you can wear it as just a face mask. Really nice inside, really well padded. You can see that. And then you've got your breathe holes there as well. I've yet to use this uh, in anger, but uh, I love it. What I've got on there at the moment is the helmet connector. So again, there's my really cheap helmet. I think I've got off the car beat uh, table. And what we do with that, if we just clip that into the, uh, the helmet. Lovely clipping in. Fits to your helmet on the side rails. All the tools all the screws everything come with it and then you've got some proper uh, face pro attached to your helmet with the quick release at the sides there for when you're wearing it. I'll stick it on for you guys this beard by the way only grew for airsoft all the other operators seem to be growing a beard so that was me my girlfriend loves it not as fiddly as I make it out to be there you go hardly wobbles hardly feel it protecting my nose once I've got me face pro uh, me eye pro on in there as well I've got a fully what I feel like is a sealed head uh, there's room under here for your comms if you're wearing comms there's plenty of room under there for that as well uh, 11 quid I've seen them a lot more expensive yeah it's probably old cheap and cheerful Chinese crap but if you're airsofting on a budget, why not? Why not indeed? And that's about it, really. That's just some of the stuff I've got from Wish that I'm really impressed with. A um, couple of things I got from Wish that I wasn't uh, too happy with. They were four grips. Um, the angled ones, I didn't really like those. They were very cheap and plastic-y, plastic but, uh, uh, you know, at two quid, uh, yeah, it's worth a pop, isn't it? So, you know, those are the things I got there. And... Uh, why not give them a go especially if you're on a budget especially if you're starting out you don't know if you're going to stick with it because later on once you realize how addictive this sport is and that you need something a bit more spectacular and a bit more hard wearing you can go and spend a bit more money but have a look have a look at wish see what you think thanks guys speak to you soon